Hello there. This is MD. Here with you on Saskiano. Here we go again. We are in a new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial. I'm gonna pick up right where he left off in the last tutorial. Talking about text. But in this tutorial. We're gonna look at how to animate your text. A couple of different ways. Let me get rid of this block of text. So let's look at a few different ways that you can think about animation for text. One way you could approach it is treating this tax layer as one whole unit and then animating that whole unit. Then you can animate that a number of ways. Just like we did in previous tutorials, you can animate simple things on the transform property. Things like position, scale, rotation, opacity, and although we didn't make something incredibly cool looking in the previous example, we could work maybe to make something a little bit cooler looking in this example, especially now that you know how to adjust your keyframes and to do something slightly more interesting than a linear keyframe. So let's say we come out here like 20 frames and I set a scale keyframe. Then I'll go back to the beginning and I just crank on the scale an absurd amount. Okay. Well, maybe not that absurd. I bring this up. I don't know, maybe 4800. Some like that. Now also gonna set a position keyframe back at 20 frames. And then at the beginning, I'm just gonna shift this over and then scale this up a little bit more. Shift it over just a hair, just so I get the text off the screen. I'm gonna select both my keyframes here. Hit F9 to easy ease them. I'll preview to see what's looks like. It's not gonna be great. Actually, that's not too horrible. I'll turn on motion blur because that will give us a really good sense of movement here. Start this again. That's actually not too bad. It experiment with maybe turning these first keyframes back to linear by control clicking on them. That will turn them back to linear keyframes. We should get a little bit faster of the starts to this animation to see what that looks like. That's not too bad could also turn those back. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 and then jump into the graph editor. Make sure you only have position and scale selected. Here we go. I will zoom up on here and then I'll grab this one over like this. I'll draw a rectangular marquee here, something like this actually I want to grab this. I want to make them go pretty fast. Yeah, that's not too bad. We can also do other very simple things like, let's just animate the opacity, create a basic fade here. Something like that. And to this, maybe we added, I don't know, a blur. So we can jump over here to the effects and presets and drop on a Gaussian blur. Just click and drag that at it right here. Turn that up to something obnoxious. Go back to the beginning and we will keyframe this. I'll drop a keyframe right there. 
and then as I'm scrubbing in the timeline here. By clicking and dragging the CTI and then hold shift. And that'll snap to the second keyframe. Then I can just set this to zero. By the way, whenever you're adjusting properties here, if you hold shift, it'll move 10 times faster than not holding shift. So if you really want to crank this up and down, click and drag with your mouse while holding shift. And the opposite of that is if you hold control and click and drag, that will move at one tenth the speeds. You can get very finite control over your adjustments. And let's review what this looks like. Very cool. Simple. And this is treating the entire block of text here. Like one unit. You can even throw a mask on this. And have the mask animate in. And do some other things. But by and large, that's treating. This text block here. As one whole unit. If you want to animate individual characters. Spoiler alert. You can explore some of these text animations. By looking at. Some of these animation presets here. That come with After Effects. And there are many text animation presets. That you can explore. Many of them look terrible. However. It can be a good place. For you to start. Looking at these sorts of text animations. So. To find them. Jump over here to the effects and presets. Underneath animation presets. And then down here. You will find a text folder. And in that text folder. You will find more folders. Inside of each one of these folders. You will find presets. That you can apply to your text. So let's pick one like. Bullet train. And we'll just click and drag. And add that to the text. In this animation in those keyframes, will be applied wherever your CTI is. So right now, it's at one second. But, if you wanted this to be applied somewhere else, move your CTI first, then, drag over the effect. So I'm gonna preview this, by hitting the space bar. Alright, now we have something, that looks different, and well that would be really difficult to do without. This text animation engine right here. Now exploring these text animation presets. It's pretty tedious. If you do it like this. For example. Let's say you didn't like that. So. Hit Ctrl Z to undo that. And then you apply another one. Preview it. Hit Ctrl Z to undo that. That is a terrible way to do it. So instead. Come up here. To the menu for the effects and presets and come down to browse presets when you do hopefully adobe bridge will open if you don't have it installed go to your creative cloud application and install adobe bridge with any luck could they'll still be supporting it but this is one of the only ways that i know of to preview these animation presets so if you have adobe bridge opening up and it should open up to the presets folder where after effects has been installed if you didn't, that's going to be in. Well for Windows the C drive probably. Program files. Adobe. Adobe After Effects CC 2021. Support files. Presets. If you're on a Mac. It's wherever Adobe is installed. And then the same location. If you're using a different version of After Effects. That'll be different, but everything else will be the same. And you can apply it to your layer after layer selected. In After Effects. You just double click on the preset. And then it will be applied. Now. Some of these presets like the one I just applied. And I'm gonna undo that. Some of these presets are. Expression driven. So they don't have any keyframes on them. And in that case. It's gonna be pretty difficult to see what's going on. If I back out here, and we go into something like blurs, and we look at this foggy example here, if you hit U on the keyboard, it'll bring up the keyframes. 
you can make an adjustment to the speed and the timing of this and perhaps the easing. But then if you drill down in the layer and you look at what's actually happening with the foggy animator here, you can explore some of these options and make some tweaks and see how it affects the basic animation that you like and hopefully get it to a state that you think is looking really great. Now if you want to find out more about building these text animations using the text animator inside of After Effects to create something custom or something more specific that you're looking for. There's a lot of information available here on YouTube. For now, it's time to move on to the next tutorial. We're gonna learn about 2.5D in After Effects. So check that out. Finally, we are done for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comments section. Also, if you want to learn more, take a look at our first channel. Everything PS. See you next time. Bye.